Welcome to Mercury Retrograde. Pick a pile. I have three items here for you to pick, or you can say 111, 222, 333, and if one of those numbers feels right, then just pick that pile, whatever, it's up to you. But the three items from uh, my mom's home that I grabbed <laughs> is a salt shaker. So if you wanna be the salt shaker, go for it. I also have a candle, okay? And the third one is, I have no idea, it's like this waxy lemon. So, it smells like nothing. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, also, maybe if you don't know which to pick, you can pause this video and just take a minute to breathe and to tune in, ask your guides which is the best pile for you. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, you wanna pick two, then just go for it, whatever. Also, the timestamps will be below, so maybe you see your numbers there and that's helpful, but whatever, I'm going to start now, okay? We're gonna start with the salt. So these two piles I'm just gonna put over here for now. All right, so salt. This is your Mercury retrograde forecast, um, download, advice. Let's see what energies you will be dealing with for the next couple weeks for sure. Oh, 10 of cups, I love that. 10 of cups, this is amazing. This is like deeper connections. This is finally having an opportunity to really feel safe and emotionally excited. Maybe you are reconnecting with another person or you are um, getting closer with friends or closer with family. Um, you could have an opportunity to expand your family. Some of you are maybe finally going to get pregnant or you've been pregnant and you're going to have that child and all of a sudden you're just like, oh my God, the baby's home, um, which is exciting. But I really feel like there's an opportunity here to complete something in a nice way or to wrap something up and to be really grateful for that experience. I also feel like you have an opportunity to share this experience with other people. Maybe you want to invite um, some other people over. Maybe you wanna host a party or there's a celebration. Some of you could be planning a wedding, I'm also hearing. Um, be careful, of course, because Mercury is retrograde, so you wanna double check everything. If you are planning something, you wanna make sure that you have enough time before and after. You wanna make sure that you have enough travel time, etc. cetera. Um, if you want like detailed Mercury retrograde um, information, we have a workshop below, but, and it might be the live ticket, so anyway, whatever. Just, you'll see the info below. Um, but this 10 of cups, like this is literally an opportunity for creative expansion also. So if some of you have been really excited about a new project, I feel like you could find a lot of success with a new project or you're meeting other people who are willing and excited to collaborate with you. So I like that. Let's see what else you've got here. 10 of swords reverse. Okay. Interesting. So we have two tens. So I see that there is some situation that is not 100% completed, but I feel like that's mentally. So maybe you are trying to experience more joy and you're getting excited about your next chapter and these new collaborations, these new connections, etc. But maybe you are still obsessing or thinking about another situation, another person, another project, or um, you're right now experiencing an overlap. So this Mercury retrograde could clarify what really needs to be wrapped up and cleared um, because some people or projects or things or maybe some mindsets, some ideas, some conversations are just done. And I feel like that is just a dead horse and we just keep kicking it and kicking it and kicking it like it's not gonna get up and go, it's not gonna do that. So some of you need to really drop a perspective, an old perspective, a toxic cycle, toxic thought process that always comes back that we just obsess over or whatever. It's like, it's time to just drop it and to just enjoy yourself. I feel like some of you are maybe, this is really interesting and will, okay. Um, also, I'm trying to do more like just channeling. So the word and the name maybe, um, Clementine is coming through. So I don't know who that's for, but there will be um, you know, some specific messages that come through for some of you. And the more you watch these videos, the more your guides will know that you're coming. So your information will come through more frequently. But, um, okay, I feel like some of you are maybe like, 
I really appreciate this connection, but obviously we're not on the same page. So we need to drop it. Um, we need to clear and disconnect, but I feel like it's like an un coupling party or something like that you know when people are like okay we're gonna get divorced or we're gonna split but like it doesn't need to be like sad and upsetting and dramatic like we can just be like this was beautiful this connection was beautiful so let's celebrate that and maybe you have one more trip or exciting plan or something with that person or this job or whatever this is that we're disconnecting from um that's not for everyone of course and if these messages don't resonate with you then like just drop them but i feel like well let's see these other two cards a three of coins oh wow and an eight of swords oh the plot thickens <laughs> yeah some people are willing to do the work i also feel like maybe you need to hire another professional or um, an advisor or a counselor a coach something like that someone involved in this situation is maybe actually thinking about hiring another professional to help with clearing some old mental programs or addictions, dependencies. But I also feel like there's an energy here because we have the three of coins. We have that eight of swords. So there's an energy here of like, I'm just fucking stuck, but you're not really stuck. Like someone thinks they're stuck with something, but they're not. Could be you, you thinking you're stuck with this other person or this other situation or that person or situation thinks they're stuck with that pattern or whatever, but like everything can be broken and, um, and healed and, and worked through if both people or if everyone involved is ready and willing to do the work for real. So I feel like there is actually an opportunity to build something here, but we definitely need new boundaries. Um, I'm also feeling like just overall, there's maybe a third party energy. It doesn't need to be cheating, um, but it could be again, like an addiction or an old idea, an old perspective, an old um, habit or something. And that habit, that addiction, that dependency is continuing to affect this connection. But overall, this connection feels really good with the 10 of cups. I'm also hearing um, poodle. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a pet name for someone or if that is um, like a literal dog. But I also feel like they're showing me like a haircut. It's like with the big poof, poof, and then like the thin legs. And then it's got like the big hair and like the tight body with the big butt and the tail with the puffy. Th it's like that takes a lot of work to make sure your dog actually looks like that. And maybe this is just a metaphor, but like I feel like there's a lot of work to keep something pretty, to keep something um, looking good. And maybe on the outside it looks good, but on the inside it's like something's not working. So like, how do we figure out how to make it work on the inside and on the outside, not only one or the other. So I do feel like maybe also some of you are thinking about changing your appearance. You wanna like change up your hair or whatever, maybe just your clothes, go buy new clothing. But I just, I feel like overall, something about this situation needs to change and it can't just be on the surface. It needs to be a deep change and a profound change and everyone needs to be involved and willing to do it. Some of you could be connecting with um, a Capricorn or Scorpio or a Gemini. Um, doesn't need to be that, but there's also a lot of air energy here. So I feel like just ideas, thoughts, perspectives, conversations, or maybe also like they're not working, it's not smooth, it's like communication breakdowns and shutdowns and like we're misinterpreting each other. Well, that's Mercury retrograde, right? So make sure when you are deciding to say something, you talk slowly, respectfully, calmly, because it's really easy for other people to misinterpret you right now. So you wanna just take a minute to slow down and to like think before you speak. Also, Mars is in Gemini, so <laughs> Whew, that can be fighting, um, we wanna freak out, or you're noticing other people can't really control their impulses, and maybe that also is connected to the issue here, is that some of these people have deep impulses and they um, refuse to clear them, and you're just like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, this is an amazing opportunity for us to expand, and like, we both see the connection and we see the potential, but I can't continue to fall in love with potential. Like I need to actually see change and improvement. And I feel like this is just an exhausted 
conversation. Like we're talking about this again. I feel like for some of you, whew, this has been 28 years. For some of you, this has been maybe eight months. For some of you, it's just, this is not, like I have a 10, a 10, an eight, and then there's a three, of course. And like, maybe you're just like, we've talked about this three times. We've had this conversation ongoing for how long? Like, how much more, how much more do you expect me to take and just continue to accept? Like, I am starting to look really stupid because I continue to discuss this with my friends, my family, maybe my therapist or whatever. And like now when I'm discussing this and explaining this situation, I hear myself explaining this situation and I'm thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? So it's like, something needs to change. Maybe you just need to drop this and say this is like, it was beautiful and I'm happy to just drop it and to clear it. Or maybe you are willing to stay and try to support this person again, but that person needs to get some professional help. I think like, yeah, journaling, meditating, these are good things to do, but like you also need a coach. You need someone to check in with you often. And I don't think that like once every eight weeks visiting the therapist, no bitch, this is like, Bi-weekly, you need to be focused, you need to watch some tarot, you need to listen to astrology, you need to start studying more energy and how that affects you and the cycles that you experience. Like there's a lot of layers here that you can find for your own help, but if you don't wanna help yourself, then bitch, what the fuck am I doing here? So that's pile one, I love you, maybe salt. Salt is good for you for some protection. Um, if you are interested in watching another pile, go for it if you feel drawn. Also, if you want more support for this Mercury retrograde, tickets are below or you can download the recording if you already missed the live workshop, okay? I love you. We also talk about Mars retrograde because we're trying to figure out where we wanna continue spending all of our energy and what are we fighting for? So. I will see you there. I love you. Pile number one. Okay. Pile number two. Pile number two, 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 two. Wait, do I have a lighter here? Oh, I think it's downstairs. It's okay. The candle. The candle. Okay, let's see. Pile number two. Let me just grab a sip. Okay, we are moving forward. We have a lot of opportunities for discussion. I feel like there's a lot of ideas maybe flying around, maybe brainstorming with other people. Um, but I also feel like motivation, um, excitement, I'm, I, could be a lot of text messages, phone calls, also emails. Maybe for you, work is getting really busy. Um, I do feel, yeah, we've got eight of coins here. We've got the strength card and the eight of wands. And then I have a six of cups here, reverse. Some of you could be dropping an old connection and just really focusing on self-development. Maybe you want to pick up some new skills. Maybe you want to just allow yourself to experience your new identity emerging because you have this opportunity now to shift how you're doing things moving forward. And that's beautiful. And I feel like you have a lot of motivation. You have a lot of excitement. Um, and you just need to commit and use that energy to your advantage. I feel like you could be thinking about the past, maybe looking back and thinking about, oh, wow, that was such a beautiful chapter. That was such a beautiful moment of my life. And maybe something didn't work out properly or whatever. It fell apart. And now you're just thinking, okay, well, what can I do with all of that knowledge that I learned um, during that chapter. So maybe you are breaking up with someone or you're leaving a job or you're um, dropping um, like a contract or an agreement and you're deciding to move in a new direction. I feel like it's more independent also and more focused on yourself, focused on developing your skills, focused on including all of the um, lessons that you've learned up until now and actually applying it. So this Mercury retrograde for you and the Mars retrograde, I feel like, well, really overall, we're just in retrograde season. I think most planets are retrograding or very soon will be, but overall, the energy right now is a lot of reflection and feeling like inspired 
from the past because you learned a lot and now you can apply it. Um, could be dealing with, I have Scorpio here, I have Leo, Gemini, maybe a Virgo. Um, I wanna get a couple more cards, I want more cards. What else is going on here for pile number two, please? A lot of healing for sure. Something's unfinished. Okay. I feel like because I have the four of coins here, so, and it's holding you back from like true expansion. Like you were holding on to these old foundations and these old structures. Maybe you have a habit or a um, routine or there's something about your situation that you just really are clinging on to. Maybe it's your old identity. Maybe it's your old actions and behaviors or something from, you know, from childhood. Um, maybe even in your teen years, for some of you, I'm feeling it could be connected to either addictions or using um, drugs, alcohol, sex, shopping, eating, whatever. But it's like, you establish this protective energy um, or this escape um, method or something to help you numb um, your experience at you know some point in your life. And then it was good, like it protected you. It, it benefited you back then, but now it's not really benefiting you. Or maybe this is another person that you're dealing with and you're noticing these things, but it's just like, so there's an opportunity now to understand that holding on to these old structures, holding on to these old, do you hear the bell? It's like, come on, wake up, time is up. Like we can't continue doing the same things over and over and over and expecting different results. That is the definition of crazy, doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. Um, like it's not gonna happen. So with this three of swords here reverse and the world here reverse, there is definitely an opportunity for you to heal something. Heal something deep. This could be connected to um, past lies, people who took advantage of you. This could be um, traumas and abuse. This can also be cheating, et cetera. But like, I feel like whatever that experience was in the past, it was a lot of grieving. It was very challenging. And now we have an opportunity to say, these habits and the self-protection I established when I was experiencing that pain, it like, had a purpose then, but it doesn't have a purpose now. So I need to just drop it and I need to start to rewrite my new story. We have Mars in Gemini. So you have a lot of motivation to rewrite a new story and to do something different with your actions and behaviors, but you need to actually commit to it. And it's like very soon we have eclipse season coming. Like there is a lot of deep change right now before eclipse season happens we have an opportunity to review and reflect and reassess everything that we're doing because it's retrograde season. Most planets are in retrograde right now. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna stop. We're not gonna force ourselves rushing forward and keep going. It's like, no, it's, no, it's time to slow down and it's time to say, okay, I need to actually take a pause, reflect, review, and figure out what is benefiting me because I have, unconscious, unconscious tendencies and unconscious impulses and unconscious, you know, like the unconscious, the unconscious mind is really influencing and controlling a lot of what is happening, but maybe you're not aware of why you do that. Or maybe this is the other person I'm describing, but the point is there's something here happening like deep in the back mind that is influencing this situation. And that person needs to say, okay, this doesn't benefit me now. And you have this judgment card. You have an opportunity to blow the whistle and start again. Sorry, I can't actually blow a whistle. Like, I can't, I can't do it, I can't. Anyways, but you have an opportunity to be like, and like start again. So what are you going to do? What do you want to do for this next chapter? Because after eclipse season, like, if you haven't cleared the dependencies, if you haven't cleared the addictions, if you haven't cleared the toxic cycles or behaviors, oh, bitch, you're gonna be stuck for another six months at least, and they will just get deeper and stronger. So it's like, we need to identify how to clear. And if you are noticing that you are pouring all of your time, energy, money, love, support into another person who refuses 
to change their bullshit and refuses to get themselves help, but maybe they say, oh, I want help. Oh, I want to change something. But it's like, then do it. I'm here trying to help you and you don't want to help yourself. What the fuck? So it's just like, there might be a little bit of an overlap of pile number one. <laughs> so if you're feeling attracted to like, oh, do I pick one or two? Which do I pick? <laughs> Bitch, go back and watch number one. Um, I just, I feel overall, it's like, it's go time. We've got the world here reverse. You know if you stay in this situation when it feels flipped upside down that you're just gonna feel like this for the next how long. It's like, why do that to yourself? Why do that to yourself? You know you deserve better. You know you deserve a stable connection. So like, doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So that situation needs to solve itself. Someone here needs to say, okay, I'm willing to change. And what are we going to do? And we need to establish some goals and we need to check them off and actually follow up. And like, if you don't, then bitch, why are you holding on? Because holding on is only blocking you from experiencing the nine of coins. And this bitch is lit. This, this is a fucking vibe. So make sure that if you are giving up an opportunity to feel fucking incredible to have all of the opportunities for expansion, to feel sexy, for other people to admire you and to recognize your hard work. If you're giving up peace and love and expansion, then what are you giving it up for? Are you giving it up to connect with another person who refuses to grow and doesn't let you experience those things that I just listed off? Or are you giving it up to actually share that experience, not alone, but with another person who is willing to also move into a chapter of expansion and love and peace and tranquility. Like you can share it, but something about this foundation needs to change. So does that person stay and change? Does this situation improve and we establish a new foundation and then together we can both expand? Or does this person need to be cleared out? You drop that old foundation that is not obviously working and then you find more expansion yourself feeling really good, okay? Because trust me, either this person is gonna catch up and get on board or you're going to drop them. But if they, if they can't do it, don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. Don't let them lie to you. There is a full moon in Pisces recently, depending on uh, when you watch this, but it's like in three days. Um, anyways, this video will be released after the full moon in Pisces, but my point is that that full moon is showing us illusions and we need to dissolve them and clear them. And if you are lying to yourself or that person is lying to themselves, then that needs to be identified so that we can move forward into finding actual abundance, love, expansion, because this nine of coins energy is a fucking vibe. I'm telling you right now. Okay, I love you. If you're interested in taking the Mercury Retrograde Workshop, I have combined it uh, with the Mars Retrograde Workshop, so you can just click below. There are tickets there, or if it's already um, gone, then the link will just be for the recording, which is like still just as powerful. Okay, I love you. I will see you very soon. Um, I'm also hearing Melody. So I don't know if some of you need to just like start singing to a new melody or if your name is Melody, it's like, wake up. <laughs> okay. Whew, pile number three. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to flip these, but it's going to change everything. That's okay. Pile number three. Pile number three, you chose the lemon because you or someone you are dealing with is a sour bitch. <laughs> uh, oh, this. Okay. First card, two of coins, reverse. Also, just so you know, I just turned this whole pile. I was like, ooh, I feel like I need to turn that whole pile. So... This, uh, that's, that's the vibe I'm telling you right now. First card, two of coins. Two of coins. I feel like some of you are stuck in your logic mind. 
You are stuck in the mind. You are not connecting with the heart space. The heart knows what you need to do about a situation where you feel like you are going in circles and circles and circles and circles and circles. And circles. I am juggling the same two balls always, just juggling and juggling. And I'm trying to like, <laughs> trying to keep things moving, but it's just like, why? Why am I doing this? I'm feeling exhausted. I'm feeling like other people don't appreciate me. And I'm also hearing the name um, Amanda. And I feel like there is something about finances that needs to be figured out. Um, there is the sun reverse. Yeah, there's a little bit of darkness here. And I don't really think it's dark energy. Maybe some of you need to um, actually establish a little bit more protection for your emotions. Um, and protection for your space, I'm also hearing could be good. But like some of you could be dropping a Leo or dealing with a fire sign, doesn't need to be. But the overall energy here with the sun reverse is like just feeling a little stuck, feeling a little bit dark. We don't know which way to go. I don't know. I don't really see the light. It's like I'm just kind of stuck in this situation. I don't know how to improve it. And I also feel like I'm still here juggling and trying to figure out what to do next. But everyone else around me is just fucking chilling, taking a break, having a tea, slowing down. And you're like, am I the only person who is doing work here? Am I the only person who is trying to figure out what the fuck we're doing next? Because like, I feel a little bit alone. Um, I also feel like that's good. I know it doesn't sound good, but it's good because you have an opportunity to be like, this is not me. <laughs> This is not me. This is not what I want for my relationships. This is not what I want for my job or whatever the situation, however it's coming up in your life. You're just like, this is not what I want. Maybe an older version of myself wanted that. Maybe an older identity when I was younger or last month or last year or two years ago, whenever, like maybe I would have accepted it then, but now, this is fucking bullshit and I'm just going to call it. So like, yeah, I feel like we're just kind of waiting around. Like, got a four of swords, got an ace of coins reverse. I feel like some of you are like, I don't want to decide. I don't want to decide. Maybe you're in a relationship or you're working at a job and you're just like, oh, I hate this job. I'm not 100% happy in this relationship. Obviously, we continue to have issues that keep coming up and I'm frustrated and annoyed about that and I'm the only one who's trying to fix these projects or fix these people or do something here for other people. But like, does anyone here appreciate me? Because I feel like they don't. I feel like they don't appreciate me and I feel like I'm just waiting for something to happen that allows me to leave this situation or for another person to make a big decision to free me so that I can move on or something here has to change. And it's like, which is it? I also feel like because we are in retrograde season, because there are so many planets right now in retrograde and very soon we're having a full moon, um, well, that's when I film this, but anyways, my point is I'm just like the illusions, the fantasy is dissolving. Like, bitch, this doesn't work. This doesn't work for me. Maybe this is working for you because I'm here trying to support you. Like we're also filming this in Virgo season. So a lot of our awareness right now and this Mercury retrograde is happening in Libra and then moving back into Virgo. So a lot of this, we also have Venus, Venus in Virgo just moved into Virgo. It's like a lot of the energy right now is like, what can I do for you? What more can I do for you? Because I'm doing a lot for you, babe. And I don't see you doing a lot in exchange. I don't see you doing a lot for yourself also. So if you want to lie to yourself or you want me to lie to you, it's not going to happen. It's not going to bring positive results. So I need to figure out how the fuck to get out of here. Or I need to figure out how to establish new boundaries and you need to figure out how to match those boundaries so that we can actually expand in new ways. But like something needs to change. So like, <sighs> I also feel like you have opportunities coming. There's maybe a little bit of a slow uh, cash flow. Maybe the money's not as fast right now. It's fine. Money will come. Resources and opportunities for expansion with your money, your finances will come. But like, 
I don't know. I feel like also you just need to rest. It's like, can I just take a fucking vacation and just take a little trip? Like, and maybe you need to, and maybe you should do that. Maybe you should just go like find a spa, a hotel, go sleep at a friend's, just go camping, do something. It doesn't need to be fancy and expensive. It's just like, just do something for yourself to take a fucking break and rest so that you can also calm the mind and you can hear and feel your heart and figure out what is the best next step for you because it's just a little bit confusing. I wanna pull a few more. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Cups, I have an Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, and a Seven of Wands. Someone involved in this situation doesn't want to make a change. Um, and I'm not talking about like, oh, should I stay or should I go? Like, that obviously is like a change that we need to figure out. But <laughs> there's another person involved, and I think that person has some like, <laughs> heavy energies that they need to clear or something that they actually need to focus on healing and clearing and moving because if that could happen, then it would positively influence this situation and maybe the other people involved or yourself would feel better about the situation. You could expand together in some new way, but is that gonna happen right now? I don't know. I feel like there's an opportunity here for more independence and freedom. Um, I have that 10 of cups also, so reconnecting with joy and friends and family who make you feel good and excited and positive. I feel like now is not the time for you to just kind of be like, wah, wah, I'm just gonna stay in this shitty situation. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna do nothing. No, it's like you need to say that this is bullshit and you need to establish better boundaries and you need to have that heavy conversation. And that's not easy. And especially with Mercury in retrograde, maybe you will be misunderstood and Mars is in Gemini. So maybe when you say it, other people want to impulsively react or they want to fight or get dramatic or whatever. But it's just like, I'm just going to remain calm. I'm going to tell you what I need to say. And I'm going to establish my new expectations and my new boundaries for this connection. Because if we can't match that, then I don't see this connection continuing because something here is not fucking working, Margo. So it's like that page of pentacles, the page of pentacles has an opportunity to plant a new seed. I don't really see a lot of fast forward motion. So like if you don't need to decide everything today, then maybe give yourself a little bit of time. But if you're noticing that you're having those conversations and other people are not accepting it, they're not responding accordingly. It's just like defensive and anger and fighting. And I feel like some of you are just like being left, just like, I'm sorry, I tell you what I need and then you just ghost me or then you just go silent for five days. What the fuck was that? It's just like, I feel like the silent treatment is just like, are we seven? Like, what are you doing? So anyways, slow down. You have a new seed. You have a new opportunity to plant that seed. You need to do everything now. No, you don't need to. But I also feel like there's just an energy here of breaking free from these old toxic cycles. Maybe people, maybe situations, but definitely you need to connect more with people who like 10 of cups energy are making you feel really excited about the connections. They're showing up properly and they're allowing you to expand and they're respectfully supporting your expansion and you are supporting their expansion. If you're not finding that now, then you need to have a heavy conversation or you need to just cut those people, clear them and go find other people who will match that positive expansion vibration, right? So anyways, I hope that helps if you're interested. Um, in joining me for the Mercury Retrograde Workshop. You can click the link below. If um, the tickets are not live and it's not available now because we missed the live, then the link below will be for the recorded workshop and the workbook, okay? Um, I love you. I will see you very soon. And yeah, also please like, 
comment, subscribe. I know I hate saying that, but it actually helps the channel get out there to other people who can use this information as well. So I love you. Ciao.